Um, tonight is a very, uh, very special occasion. It is Eis Hanukkah, Tavshin Pei Aleph. This is also the, uh, this year, Eis Hanukkah's Gimel Tevis, it's Yartam of Avi Mairi, Olava Shalom, second yard site. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about Eis Hanukkah. And if we start with the Vart. <coughs> And I heard from my father, Roshalom uh, should be as chosi on the The um, we say in Shmaynesre, the first first bracha Shmaynesre is bracha Magan Avram. We know the first three brachas of of Shmaynesre are birchas shvach. And the shayla is, what is the birch shvach? What is the grace of shvach in the bracha magen Avram? Bishlam Atar Gibor talks about Kodesh Baruch Hu's his tremendous prowess. His mechayim meisim is very fichaylim. Mati asurim. Atar Kodesh describes how how heilig he is. What is it in the magen Avram that's the shvach that Kodesh Baruch Hu that's pinpointing something that's an unbelievable mida of a Kodesh Baruch Hu? When you say the bracha birch shvach, you're saying you're pinpointing a gavaldik a mida. Magad Avram seems to describe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu was Baruchah Bavram, Bazaar what is the what is the Shvach? Where, where is the Shvach in, 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 the, in the Bracha? So my father tainted that the Shvach is as follows. We know that we know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world. Adam Rishon was the Tzirka B'Shal HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Tachas of was supposed to be Adam Rishon. Unfortunately, or as the Gemara of Zara says, fortunately for us, Adam Rishon was Chayte. And the whole world started spiraling out of control. It was headed back towards Tayyu Vavayu. And different people along the way tried to help out. Different Tzadikim along the way. But ultimately, the world was spiraling out of control. Until, okay. until, until Avram Avinu came, and he was machzik in the world. Be mean, be Take some chairs, but you get take some chairs off. Um, Mezh describes how Avram Avinu came. And he was machzik the world, the world be minoy, right? If you know Avram, Avram Avinu was mitzah chesed, he means chesed. Avram Avinu was was machzik the world be minoy. Came along Yitzchak, he machzik the world be smiley. Came along Avram, he was, came along Yaakov, he was machzik be emtza. He means small emtza Avram Yitzchak Yaakov, and the whole world now stands on Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov. Like the Mishnah tells us, Hashlash Dorma, I made Altair of Avoid the Mimulios Chasadim, which is Avram Yitzhak Yaakov's Midas. So you would think and say, wow, lucky for the world, Avram Avinu stepped up to the plate and he was able to do Machzik in the world. What would have been if Avram Avinu wouldn't have stepped up and been the first of the Gimel Aves? So Peshat is Avadinisht. Avram Avinu had to step up to the plate. How does it work? We can't say how it works, but that's the Shvach of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Shvach of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu guarantees the Welt that for the Kamli Dei Tikkunoi. Uh, Ramchal describes the two, two Hanagas of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hanagas HaMishpat, which is our everyday Hanaga. Then there's something called Hanagas HaYichud, which is Hanaga El Yoyna, which is constantly assuring that the world is going to Kamli Dei Tikkunoi. And despite the fact on the surface it looks like we're spiraling out of control, you know what? There's going to be the first year that Avram is going to step onto the scene. And this is the greatest shvach that we could give HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu stands behind the scenes, unnoticed, and he, at, the, at the same time as Eilam Kimin Hagen Neig, it looks like there's a regular world, day after day, <coughs> carrying on. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is ensuring and we are going to arrive at our destination, which is ultimately Sakin Oyle Macha Shakai. And by what arrive on the scene, 
to um, to ultimately bring a Klai Yisrael and ultimately to bring the, the, the final Geula. The, um, <clears throat> this, this, this concept is also very appropriate to Hanukkah. Because on Hanukkah, also, the belt was spiraling out of control. If you think Klai Yisrael is in, in a bad state now, the Mats of Klai Yisrael seem to have been totally out of control. The Yivonim had made such inways into Klai Yisrael. It's hard to, probably hard to weigh the inroads the Yivonim made against Klai Yisrael versus the inroads that the media has made through the internet in Klai Yisrael nowadays. But you have to assume it's very comparable because, <clears throat> because ultimately what goes around goes, goes around, goes around, and goes around. Every door <coughs> is a repeat in its own way of the avoid of the previous diaries. The previous diaries set shrashim, they set precedences, but ultimately what they did, we, we're doing. And that's what Hanukkah is. Hanukkah is reliving, it's not, not a celebration. Go ahead and celebrate. You didn't live, you didn't, you didn't accomplish. You just take every day and recognize that it's Olam Chadash, it's a new world, and we have the unique ability to affect it in a way that no one else ever was able to affect it. And that's really the message of Hanukkah. The message of Hanukkah is, is that, wow, weren't we lucky? The Yavon stepped, stepped onto the scene and, uh, and saved the day? No, it's, 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 the, it's, the same, it's the same message. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave the Koyach, the enlightenment to these tzaddikim, to, be, to willingly be Maisha Nefesh, to change the course of history for Kal Yisrael. And that's the, that's the greatest shach. And that's the, and that's the MS, a chalik of our haidah on Hanukkah. Hanukkah, we don't just give haidah for Nitzachan. Because if you give haidah just for Nitzachan, if you give haidah just for the, for the, for the success of the Hashmanayim, you give a haidah that the Beis Hamikdash was <coughs> Nishanech, that the, that the Hashmanayim overpowered the Yuvanim, you're going to be left with a very big question. What does this have to do with me? We're sitting in the tiefest chayshach. Our chayshach is, es, or is probably the zelba chayshach. What did they accomplish? <coughs> what, do we, what do we celebrate when the Hashem in subsequent battles, most of them were, were later killed. The Malchus base, the base Hashem was totally wiped, up, wiped out by the Hordes, and ultimately the base, the base of Migdash was destroyed, and here we are in the bitter chayshach. How do we celebrate? But when you recognize that the MS, what happened on Hanukkah wasn't just that the Kaddish Baruch gave siyat to the Shmaya to, 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 to the Hashem but the Kaddish Baruch orchestrated the entire event, not only the Nitzachan, but the Nefila also. The Kaddish Baruch orchestrated tremendous Chayshech. In retrospect, why did Hashem make a tremendous Chayshech? Because he wanted Tzadik to be able to bring R into the Welt. In order to bring R into the Welt, you need Chayshech. So Kodesh Baruch said, listen, we are going to make and we're going to have people that are going to have the opportunity opportunity to bring tremendous R into the world. You know how you can bring tremendous R into the world? Well, if it's light, you can't bring R. It doesn't help to light a, light a candle in a lit room. We're going to make a tremendous Chayshech. And the Tzadikim are going to recognize that this Chayshech is from Kodesh Baruch is an opportunity to make R. And you know what? That message persists. Right, the message that we have, the Haidah that we have from Hanukkah, is not only Haidah on the Nisim and the Flois and the Nitzachan, but <coughs> the celebration of Hanukkah is Dafka, where we are sitting in the Gresta Chayshach, to know that we have the, ch- the ability to be Maisa Nefesh and to overcome the Chayshach with our Messias Nefesh. This may answer the question why Taka don't we celebrate the Nitzachan of the Muhammad? We make it. We make a, a celebration, oh, but that's not the ikker. 
because the, the, the Nitzach and the Muhammad was short-lived. But the nace of the R, that Messiris Nefesh of the Hashemurim that they brought out, that with Messiris Nefesh, a Yid is guaranteed that he's going to be able to light up the world with Kedushas Hashem. This is what the Hashemurim brought into the world, and this is what we live off to this day. So it comes out very interesting that when we say Hayda, Takarish Baruchu, the Lahaydus Lahalel in Hanukkah is not only Lahaydus Lahalel on the Nitzachin and the R, but a step deeper is we even thank a Kaddish Baruch for the Chayshach. When a person can thank a Kaddish Baruch for a Chayshach, that is Hayda, that is full. Because if you're, <coughs> if you're really not if you're really not comfortable with the Chayshach, then how can you truly be happy with the R when the R <coughs> always has its Chayshach coming to blot it out? But if you understand from the from the message of Chanukah is that the Chayshach is custom made by Kaddish Baruch at a time when Yidin are given the opportunity and the Kayach to bring out the R, then we recognize every Chayshach that we're in. We have the tool to to, to light up that Chayshach with R that Kaddish Baruch gives us. What's the key? The key is Bitochen and Messias Nafesh. And this is the greatest Haidat HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That I'll call Nishima Nishima. You can be Mahal HaKadosh Baruch Hu because people have lots of Nishimas. And not every Nishima, not every breath a person takes is the most comfortable breath. There are times that a person is has difficulty breathing because he's under such stress. Or he's hyperventilating, hyperventilating because he's so nervous. And I felt PK, and I call Nishima Nishima, whether it's the Nishima of Simcha, whether it's the Nishima of difficulty, this is the ultimate Haida, and this is the message of Hanukkah. I was just thinking of a remez to this. It just hit me, I think, yesterday in Shemayin Esrei. He spoke out a number of times in Shemayin Esrei, the Kavana of Kriya Vishtach Avoy. So four times you bow in Shemayin Esrei. Twice at the beginning of Shemayin Esrei, Morgan Avram, Betchil Vesayf, and twice by Maidim. You have four times you bow, and the four times you bow are Kenegah the Shem Hashem, <coughs> which is Yudke Vavke. And the way we say Yudke Vavke is we say Alev Dalet, Adai. <coughs> and the Kavon is to align those two Shemais. By the first Kriya, you align the first letter of Yudke Vavke with the first letter of Alev Dalet. So you have you thinking about a Yud and an Alev. And the idea is that the Shem al Dal represents Oilam Hazah and we're lifting Oilam Hazah from the depths of Gashmias, from the depths of Hester up to Havaya, which is Kuligar. Mm-hmm. And that's the way it goes for the four Kriyas. The first Kriya is Yud to an Aleph. The second Kriya is a K to a Dalad. The third Kriya, beginning of Maidim, is a Vav to a Nun. And the Kriya at the end of Maidim is a K, Heachrein of Havaya to the Yud of Alav Dalad. Okay? <coughs> I mentioned this in the past. I just saw Benigei Hanukkah. In the Kabbalah, so how is near is Hanukkah. It's a little bit, not enough time really to go through all the Kabbalahs. Anybody who wants to go through Kabbalahs near is Hanukkah, we can go through it, it's not too late. But in the Kabbalahs of near is Hanukkah, there's, an, there's, a, there's another Aliyah. And that Aliyah is, not only are we, do we make an Aliyah to Yudke Vavke, make Aliyah to Keser, which is through the shame of Eke, Aleph Ke Yudke. And the Kavon Nekris Veshtach Vais is also to add this shame to the mix. So you have Eke, you have Yudke Vavke, and you have Aleph Dalet. Let's just skip the first two Kriyas and get to the, the Kriya of Maidim. Which Isis are lined up by the Kriya of Maidim? So we had the Vav and the Nun of Havai and Adna. <coughs> and now we just added the Yud of Eket to the mix. And we're like, whoa, that spells Yavim. No reason, right? I thought that their names aren't mentioned. 
But because Emes is the the Nitzachah wasn't only on Yavon, it was on Yidin also. The Nitzachah was on ourselves. We we all are. We do mention Yavon and all. Yeah, Yavon and Rasha. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's how Zayin about it over there. Yeah, you're right. But ultimately, the Nitzachah wasn't only Yavon. It was also on the the Risham and Klai Yisrael. Not only Risham and Klai Yisrael on the Russian each and every one of at every Yid that ha, that had to be beaten out of him by the Nisayan and the and the Hisayus of the Nais. And so it just comes out interesting that in Maidim the Pshat could be is two ways to say it. Right? One way would be that you have to thank Hashem for Yavan. Because without the stick we would have never woken up. Yavan is just just a shtekin. Yavan, Yavan has no, no power. Yavan is HaKadosh Baruch Hu's way of waking you then up. So we say thank you Hashem for sending us Yavan. Ultimately Right, that's a tikkun of Yavan. Right, when you sit, when you when you recognize that the Nisoyan is a hechatimsa to overcome to be to succeed, you could say haida even before you win. Right, a hayda, you could prepay the haida. Right, it's, it's it's well it's well documented nowadays. Different people nowadays are into this 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 avayda, That a person is in a matzav and Nisoyan, they thank Hashem first. For everything, and you thank Hashem, knowing that you're going to get through this this side with flying colors, and the thank and and the haida of the for the nisayin, and the haida for everything that we have, that we know that the nisayin is going to bring us to shleimus to the shleimus for everything else that we have, that haida ultimately is the greatest mamtik. That is what what sweetens the nisayin and sweetens the din, and with this we are zayche. To overcome all the shyness. We talk about zayicha to. Let's just talk a, a drop a couple of Muslims like Chanukah. So it's Chanukah is un, a unique day, and ultimately they teach to say Chanukah. It's called Zayich Chanukah because Zayich Zayich Chanukah is on the Zbeach. Yehi Masha Chayisai is the pasuk where we lay on Zayich Chanukah, but Zayich is. Also, the Zeis Yavi Aaron Al Akaidish, they tell that that Zeis Chanukah is like a Meini and Kipper. And Remelo Zeis Chanukah is the day for that Vaida of a Sarah Simei Tshuva, of Tshuva Tfilat Staka. These are the these are the the the, the three branches of a Vaida, Tshuva Tfilat and Staka, which ultimately brings Yidden with the connection to Hakadosh Baruch Hu to guarantee Baruch in our lives. If you look in the in the Machzayim, it says Tshuva says underneath the word Saim. Tvila has on the underneath of the word Kail. And Tzedakah has underneath of the word Mamin. These three words, Kail, Saim, Mamin, are all the Gematria 136. They're all the same Gematria. And they obviously correspond to Yumin Small Emtza. However, they correspond. You guys can you guys can think have something to think about now. Whenever you have three, it's always going to be Avram Yisroel Yaakov Yimin Small Emtza, especially when they're all equal, equal Avos. <coughs> but ultimately, this Avoda of Kaltzai Momen is Bezayis Yavai Aron Al Kaidesh and Zayis Chanukah because the three 